Hi guys, Catherine here. Um, I'm here with a, um, I guess, I don't know, a challenge. It's not really a challenge. Um, but I decided that I was, um, I had too many scraps and just having too much stuff overwhelms me a little bit, just a little bit. So I have um, just a way that I think will get rid of all of my scraps that I have. So this is just the smaller bits of scrap. I don't know why I keep all these bits, but I do. Um, so these, you can see how tiny, like, I've kept these, right? Like, like seriously? What are you gonna do with this? What am I gonna do with this? And then I have, like, clear acetate. I don't know what I'm gonna use with this. I probably should throw this out, which I'm going to because I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, anyways, um, so I want to challenge myself and use up all of these. So I already did um, challenge myself and use a bunch of scraps to create um, embellishments. Hang on one second, I'm going to grab them. Oh. Um, I created these embellishments um, and I will have a video up for that shortly. Um, so I wanted to use up more of my scraps and um, what I generally do is make layout like I I make a bunch of layouts that don't have pictures, but I have like templates that I make I made I make um, and I just cut them out to like I know what size pictures that I usually print out anyway. So usually four by four, three by four, and four by six, and sometimes I'll do a five by seven um, or smaller or do like a bunch of smaller. Um, squared like I do a grid layout so I have a bunch of I don't know where they are at the moment but I have a bunch of these templates that I use and then when I find a picture that I like I will take that and paste it on take this out and then put that picture on to where I have it just this is just um, so that I can get a bunch of things done at once if I don't have my pictures printed yet or just don't have a picture yet but I do have a layout ready and instead of drawing sketches which I throw I throw into random places and I have no idea where I put them so I just create the layout and then um, put the pictures in after so um, so yeah so this is um, this is just an idea I don't know if you guys are interested in doing it but this is this is what I'm doing I'll show you what I what I do. So I kind of sorted out my scraps into different sizes. So I have like teeny tiny scraps that are just, that I'll just use to like the layer in the back or whatever. These are, this is basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take these scraps and layer them together and create, um, create a layout with them. Um, yeah, so I will show you what I have, like an idea that I have that I'm going to do and I will get back to you. So while I was going through my scraps, I found this. I don't know why I didn't use this. Um, it was just paint splatters. I guess I left it out to dry and just completely forgot it, about it. Um, so I'm going to use that as my starting point. This is just an example, so do whatever you guys want. Um, I was gonna take a whole bunch of white scrap, like white um, cardstock and just paint a bunch of um, backgrounds for it and then do splotches and then do the layers and I think I still will do that but I'm just showing you guys just an idea so this is just an idea so just do a background like this and then just like just take a bunch of scraps that will coordinate together and put them together so um, so I just grabbed like the pinks and the yellows and I like the red like the darker the darker pinks on there so it's kind of like a red ish <laughs> I wanted to add a neutral color so obviously I have tons of gray and um, I don't mind that that's there it's gonna be hidden yeah it's gonna be hidden anyway so I'm not too worried about that so I'm just gonna do this put these together somewhat this is a really tiny piece. I don't know why I've kept it, but I love the colors of this paper. I think this is from the Maggie Holmes collection, the flower, that floral. 
So, um, that's kind of the idea I'm going for. So I really, I don't have a picture for this, um, layout. So obviously, I think I'm going to do, um, I can do maybe a, a 4x4. Just add it on there. Is the idea. So this is basically what I do. I'll either um, glue it down with adhesive or I'll just staple them. Just sometimes it's easier to just add a staple into the middle. Um, I'm going to be adding um, I'm going to be adding um, more layers obviously when I'm done embellishing it. But, uh, but until then I just leave it as this and then um, and then call that a layout and then I will embellish afterwards. So um, I will like the staples obviously I'm going to hide it with um, stickers or or just like some embellishment or the title right so I would just do something like that um, or do whatever <laughs> I'll figure it out later but at least this way I can get rid of my scraps and put them all together and then have an idea for a layout so with this because I have two girls and I like to just kill two birds with one stone I'll probably do the exact same layout probably different obviously different colors because these are just scraps right so um so I'll just do this. I don't put a lot of adhesive. Oopsies. That popped out of there. I don't do a lot of adhesive in case I need to like move it around later on. Which is cool. Which is fine with me. Um, so I just put adhesive there. I have, um, I'll be putting this here. And then I, I reuse these, obviously. My templates. And um, that is a layout and then I will add, like I said, I'll add my embellishments later. So if I don't, um, so that's one idea. That's done. Um, another idea is I just grab a bunch of, um, a bunch of, what are these called, scraps. And if I don't have like a layout idea ready or the background ready, I'll just put them together. I know that they'll be they look they look good together so I'm sure I will either I'll use it like this on a on a <laughs> I usually use white cardstock so um this is just a uh, scrap this is um I use this paper it's it's thicker than copy paper but it's um thinner than cardstock so I use these to print off um I use these to print off my um my printables. So something like this. This is an old whatever. An old Studio Calico one from Hello Forever. So I print it because it it looks sharp on there. So I could either use this like this together like that and then do add more layering or kind of do the exact same thing and then add more layering that way. Obviously I'm gonna cut off that bottom strip um, but yeah I'll do that I can do the exact same thing but just to get rid of all these little bits and pieces and I love I love that I can keep adding layers if I really wanted to um, because I didn't like adhere every everything right away I just stapled them so I can add as many layers as I want to and I think that's <laughs> I think that's why I've kept these um, these little bits and pieces but I love um, to use every single little bits bit and piece um, I've also punched out what I do is I punch out squares because I have like little tiny punch outs punched squares and I'll just punch out a bunch of them and then I can use those for um, backgrounds for grid layouts, right?
So um, that's another idea. You can punch them all out. You can punch out different shapes. Um, but yeah, I love this idea of getting rid of all your scraps and keep it, keeping all your scraps when you're scrapbooking and then getting rid of them all in one foul swoop. So um, I'm going to see how many layouts I can make out of all of my scraps. I do have bigger scraps, like bigger than the two sizes that I showed you that I keep that I keep in my um, in my iris container here and then these ones I'll use for like the f the fuller layouts or I'll use as like um, on the top to um, just to add um, extra things hi guys so I have um, all the finished layouts that I did with all of my scraps well actually not all of them but um, for the most part, all, all, of, all of them, really. Um, I only have a few bits and pieces left that I was just going to use for, um, for more layering for when I complete these layouts. Um, I still haven't found pictures. I actually haven't even looked, but um, I just wanted to show you what I have done. So, I have come up with um, about 15 layouts, I think, I've done. Um, and so they have, they just have, um, just these templates on them, three by four, whatever pictures I decide to use. <clears throat> if I don't, like, I have them, like, lightly, <laughs> lightly glued, adhered, lightly adhered to the, the papers, but I could easily just take that out and replace it with, say, a four by six if I decided to do that later on. And um, I didn't adhere these very well because there are some of them that I, it depends on what photo I want, that I will probably just put, um, change the background. I did choose white because that's generally what I do anyways. Or if I want to add some, some paint onto it, um, then I can do that easily. So I can just pull these off and then they will come off easily. But I basically have the gist of a layout and that kind of just, um, it kind of just helps if I just want to be creative and, and um, just finish these layouts. So what I would do is I would choose two photos. I would choose the photos and do that. So they're not completed. They're just just papers. I just put papers on there. So in the process, it would just be, I would put my pictures there. I'd put one of my pictures there. I don't have another one. But I would put the pictures there and then I would still embellish it, right? So I would put, um, I would grab, say, I have this journey collection from Crate Paper that I just bought and there is just a bunch of different, um, things on there that kind of coordinate with with the colors on this layout specifically so um so i just sift through all of these and figure out what i want so this is basically just the process of it so the journey one is more travel-y and that picture obviously isn't travel but um i could easily just go add these embellishments wherever right so that's basically what I wanted what my idea is of of this whole for this whole um, getting rid of my stash and I would um, it's just to get rid of all of my um, paper, paper scraps that I had. So now on to, I'll show you all the ones that I've done. And I've done, most of these are double, I've done double, this, the exact same layouts basically because I have the two girls. So there's this one and this one. Like, I kind of have the gist of what pictures I want to use. It's just the matter of printing them out. So I have those two. 
essentially they're the same. I think this one has like an extra piece of paper there. They're both, and this one has that. I cut out um, the banners on there. I have this one. Um, I think I took this. This layout came, this idea was from a Marcy Penner layout that I saw on her um, Studio Calico um, gallery. So she had a title here and a smaller picture. I don't think it was a three by four picture, but um, she had a smaller photo here and then just these squares and she added like all the embellishments on here. So I love that idea. Uh, this one. I basically, I had a lot of the same paper, so um, I just used the exact same pi picture, pa uh, papers, just changed one of them because I didn't have enough of those. So same, 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 but different. This one I only made one of. I think I'll make another girlier one with pinks and yellows and mints. But I really like that, and I'll probably, I'll probably um, stitch through all of these underneath the layers. So these ones, these come off easily. Um, so I'll stitch just to add like um, texture onto these. And then add my embellishments, title here or title here, whatever. I might just do one photo too, and then just add a bunch of embellishments. The world is my oyster. It's just, these are just ideas. So these one, this one I put on copy paper because I ran out of cardstock. And um, my idea for this is I would just use a different, um, I would use a, like a background paper for this one. Um, I'd just go through my, my stash of background papers and then just put it on there. Or when I buy some more cardstock, I'd add them. Most of them are um, eight and a half by 11s, just because I have the shorter, the smaller scraps, right? Um, I didn't want to go into my bigger scraps because I have um, different ideas for those ones too. So uh, most of them are eight and a half by 11, just because of the type of layouts or the type of ideas that I. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, most of them are eight and a half by eleven because that's what what worked out. So these two are the same. This one, oh, and this one are the same. This one was the one that I showed you before with the splatters. I found that one with splatters, so I'll probably do some splatters on this one. Again, this one is on copy paper, so I have to put it on cardstock or put a background to it. So in the end, I'm, I'm sure I'll show you later on in another video um, when these go up and I'll show you the differences between them. Because I'll probably work on, on the two at the same time. But they'll, they'll either be the exact same thing because I can't think anymore, but, um, but I'll, I'll try to make them different. And so this one is just, this one's a 12 by 12 layout. And um, I just wanted to use up all the blues. I have a lot of blues. I don't know why, I don't like blue. <laughs> but I have a lot of blues. So I do like the darker blues and like the, um, like the navy blue. I know that's not navy blue, but I like navy blue. Um, and I do like the minty blue, or I guess that's minty green, but the aqua blues, so. I do like blue, I just, it wouldn't be the first color that I chose. So there's one. And then this is just one, two. Mm -hmm. So there you go guys, here, um, hopefully I gave you guys some ideas to use up some of your, some of your scraps. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye.